In West Hollywood, a star sighting or chance encounter with a celebrity is not a rare occurrence. In fact, it can happen at your local grocery store or your favorite restaurant or right here at the City of West Hollywood Library as presented by the City of West Hollywood. I'm Eddie Robinson and this is WeHo TV News. Through its WeHo Arts program, the City of West Hollywood recently presented the first in a series of periodic talks with notable residents and creatives in West Hollywood. Titled Artists and Icons, the inaugural subject was none other than Frances Elizabeth Taylor Davis in conversation with fellow West Hollywood resident Trip Mayen, Senior Vice President of Global Experiences for BeautyCon Media. It's quite a journey that I've been on. And the fact that the second part of my life of being out here in West Hollywood, it was just fantastic the things that continue to happen. So I'm very happy with West Hollywood. Although best known as having been the wife and muse of Miles Davis, one of the most acclaimed and admired jazz musicians of the 20th century, Frances Taylor Davis is also a pioneer in the dance world who studied ballet with the famed Catherine Dunham. In 1948, Davis became the first black ballerina to dance with the Paris Opera Ballet. She also appeared on Broadway, in film, and on covers of many of Davis's albums. Frances spoke about how her own artistry and creative eye for talent influenced Miles Davis. With Miles, there was a company called Roberto and Glacius that came to New York, and I thought, Miles, I, I would really like for you to hear and see this company. And he didn't want to really go, but finally he agreed. And when we left that theater, we walked to the Colony Record Shop, and he brought every flamenco album. And the next day, he called Gil Evans, and he said, I want to do this album, and he called it Sketches of Spain, and it's one mm. of his classics. That was because of me. Davis is regarded as West Hollywood's original diva, and she became the hostess at the famed Roy's Restaurant in WeHo. She also spent time as the hostess with the mostess at Chasen's, La Dome, and the Hamburger Hamlet on the Sunset Strip. I always felt that I was still on stage. I felt when the door opens, the curtain goes up, and I'm on, I'm performing. And I guess I touched a lot of people. And th instead of calling me hostess, they started calling me maitre diva. And then later, it was just the diva. Discover more upcoming events from the city of West Hollywood's WeHo Arts program by visiting weho.org arts. I'm Eddie Robinson, WeHo TV News. Mike, back to you.